tonight on Big Brother. Ben and Chrissy, can they kiss and make up? You look really good on TV. Really good. Tense times as the housemates are tested on the task. How old is Joanne's brother? Uh, 19. Oh. And a divided house finds harmony at last. Day 26, and an air of calm has returned to the house after a night of bickering and confrontations. But Joanne has a new problem. She's woken up feeling awful. I'm cool. I'm cool, Ricky. Now I'm just gonna ignore nastiness. Yeah. And stay closer to people that aren't nasty. That's all you could do. Yeah. Today's a new day. Mm. Essentially. Is it? I'm gonna get up and have a swim. While Joanne lies low in bed, outside Saxon has decided to burn off some excess energy. Every time we get to 100, I've got to tell you one, and then you've got to count to eight. Are you going to run? 800. I've been <laughs> physically challenged by three people that I could not do it now. Is uh, 800 is, hang on, 800 is? About 40. No, you're not going to do 40 k's. About 36. 40 k's will take you all day. No, no. Take you four and five hours. Better start early then. <laughs> For this week's task, the housemates have had to quiz each other on their lives. They'll be tested tonight. And once again, Regina is keen that everyone is prepared. Can you get up now? Why? Hmm? Why? Because the day's nearly over. What's the go? The go, eh? Yeah. It's half a day's gone. Yeah. And I think we should start doing our thing. I'm too tired of the day. <laughs> You've had enough sleep. Uppity up. New day. Up. Way too tired to do that. Morning, Vincent. Mm -hmm. Up. Chrissy is still bothered by her overnight altercation with Ben. I think the honeymoon's over. Mm. Obviously, yeah. and people's little bits and pieces are coming out. Yeah. That's and sad. Well, that's life. I mean, you can't expect this to be any that different from from life. From life, that's right. You know, we relationships get broken. Exactly, in life. and we've been chucked together with these people. So I've got to ask Ben today what I not what how I annoy him. But, um, Do you know what? Don't worry. No. Because, and this is what I, this is the conclusion I've come to, like, overnight, that put that one person that you're talking about then, it doesn't matter what he thinks, because what he thinks is warped, and what he thinks is not the truth. Yeah. And when you first hear it, like when I first heard what he thought, I believed it because I'm that sort of person. I go, oh my God, wow. Maybe I am that, maybe. No. You know, and mm. then you just go, mm -mm. I've had a whole life mm. without you being negative about me. Yeah, so why start now? Just, yeah. I'm not going to listen to it. Mm. Good I'm, on not, you. I'm not going to listen to what he said about other people either. Good, good. And he's talking about people that I've known the whole time. And he's saying, you know, basically look again, you know. Mm. What you think you know is not what you know. Mm. That just throws me into craziness. And it makes me, you know, feel feel like oh, I'm, I, I'm in a group of people that I thought I knew, but I really don't because Ben's told me otherwise. You know, otherwise. And who the f is he? Yeah. I'm going to go with what I what I know to be the truth for me and that person. 
since I've known them and, mm. and it worked before and it'll work again. Yeah. I'm just going to avoid him because I just find it a poisonous company. Ahead on Big Brother... He was great last night, staring everyone up. I think it hit the mark with Chrissy, which is good. After gossiping with Regina well into the early hours, Ben has slept oh. into the afternoon. He's up! You know he's up. He only takes ten minutes once you wake him. He's up. I'm still making you a coffee. He's up. They're all dry. Yeah. Thanks God for that. How many, Saxon? Yeah, so, um, At 390. And then if you're going to take 300. He's been going. I'll tell him to stop at 400. I wouldn't Past. do 800. No, he's going to make himself yeah, sick. Extra. Well, that's why Joe's sick. That's why Joe's sick because she overdid it yesterday running around that track. 390 makes it only 20k. Joanne has no shortage of visitors to her sick bed. Great, isn't it? Even Pat's a bit quiet this morning. It's great. Oh, where's Vincent around there administering first aid? I'll stir him up. Vincent around there administering first aid? Yeah. Yeah, it's ought to be around there. Which is mine. Yeah, Nick, because they're both the same. Who's the other one for? I'm taking Claire. it into Claire. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're walking. I knew you couldn't do it. Hit 400. I'm just having like about 10, 10, 10 lap walk. Now I'm back into it. Can you do another four? Yeah. Saxon, I'd stop at 400. 40 k's. Yep. Mad. You don't. I don't want you getting sick. Got nothing else to do, Reggie. I can give you something to do. <laughs> it's a lazy afternoon in the sunshine, but things aren't as relaxed as they seem. She's on. They've got the. With Have they? Which one? Just. But this morning I woke up and they were like being really, really loud. Like they were just talking and around and everyone was asleep. I looked up at them and then they looked at me and they go, oh, I was down awake yet. And I go, no one's awake, but it's okay because when you two wake up, everyone wakes up like that. And then they just shut up. But, they're, but now they're not talking to me. Give a <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's 16 year old sooks. Get over yeah. it. Yep. That's what I'm doing. So last night I was just trying to sleep and I just had the worst night's sleep because I kept on waking up from being in pain. No, this is what you do at home and yeah. you'd probably have your mum That's to what, make you feel better. That's what I was just thinking. I was just lying here going, last time I was like this, my mum was there. Just she'd come in. And she'd come in and she'd massage and... She'd Make sure you're all right. And now. she'd lie next to me and just... No, you don't have that. You just got nasty men like me <laughs> to stick my head past. <laughs> she was great last night, staring everyone up. I think it hit the mark with Chrissy, which is good. Yeah. That's where it was meant to hit. Was that it? Yeah, it was meant to go all the way around and hit this ball and bounce down land on it. It was bloody loud. It was great. The tree, you don't even need to speak that loudly because you can hear so easily. Yeah, that was just the, the one where I yelled. I just was disappointed that... Like, you were happy just to lay there and have a bit of a sleep and listen, but you were still happy to be there. And, like, we all just come in the room. No-one was going to go to sleep. We could have done it in here. Yeah. And well, so Pat didn't say anything, but he wasn't He wasn't wrapped. happy either. No, he wasn't wrapped, but he... Uh, again, Pat's not going to say anything. I said I'd say something. So if it's over. Do you want to do it now? I think with the Savo, once everyone eats and relaxes and gets over their little steam... Yeah, how's it going out there? Yeah, good. Everyone's all right. I think so. I haven't spoken to that person, but that's not a, something that's going to concern me too much. Yeah. See ya. See ya. After last much. night's spat with Ben, Chrissy announced she wanted to leave the house. And a night's sleep hasn't changed the way she feels. I haven't said a word to Ben all day. Haven't you? No. Not even hello. Has he? 
No. I hope you don't feel the need to. There you go then. Hideous creature. Four days until I might be nominated. Don't. No, don't even think like that, Chrissy. That's so naughty. You want to go, honey? Oh, yeah. Now I do. I didn't before, but I do now. Now, because the houses have merged? No. I dislike someone. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't noticed much at all. I, don't, I want to stay blind to all of... Yeah, see, I was, and now I'm angry. Oh, I can't talk about it because I get in so much trouble. It's not worth it. Next on Big Brother, half the house budget riding on the task. Reggie, who was the owner of this baby dummy? Carlo, Claire <laughs> or Vincent? It's time for the judging of the task, where the housemates had to learn as much about each other as possible before having to answer four questions about their fellow housemates. Housemates not being tested must not attempt to call out answers at any time. Any attempt to make contact with the housemate being tested, that's the person in here, will deem the task as a failure. Does anyone have any questions? I'm yeah, you do it. Okay. Do we do a birthday round again? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Start from the beginning. 3rd of November. 3rd of November. 21st of October. 11th of June. 11th of May. Yeah. I don't know anyone's November. birthdays. I have no idea. 3rd of November. Well, we keep going. 3rd of November. Yeah. 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 You said preparation time. 18th of March. Yeah. 28th of March. You ran out of preparation time. Good luck, Good luck, Leah. We can still do it. I nearly said that. I nearly said that. We can still do it. Yeah. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. Have you brother? Leah. Yes. How old is Joanne's brother? Oh, come on. Uh, oh, I don't know. Twenty. Oh. Twenty-one. <sighs> A bonus point is awarded if they can guess who in their group owns a particular item. Which housemate is the owner of the toy gun you're now seeing? Was it Ben, Daniel or Vincent? <laughs> oh, Daniel? Oh, oh, that's mine. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, that's mine. Yeah, actually, Daniel must. No. Final. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Reggie. Yes. She looks so brown. I know. What's the name of Daniel's sister? Jody. Jody. Yeah. Hang on, you read. <laughs> Reggie, who was the owner of this baby dummy? Carlo, Claire, <laughs> or Vincent? <laughs> Housemate used to wear this. Oh, please don't make it mine. Was it Belinda, Leah, or Claire? Holy oh, 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 don't think the other girls would do it to themselves. Leah. <laughs> Leah. Thank you, Saxon. I'm more doing it. I'm party. What? And I've got the best. Ben. Yep. God, he looks good. What are the names of Leah's dogs? Max. Miller. <laughs> Wendy. He's got two. Yep. That's your dogs. She's got three. What is Claire's favourite food? Claire loves avocado. Look at him, avocado. Okay, thank you, Ben. <laughs> We can. We can. 
three dogs. <laughs> Ben and Chrissy haven't spoken all day, but the shared experience of trying to pass the task breaks the ice. I loved that, that your little section was perhaps yeah. the most entertaining 30 seconds of television I've seen in years. Fidgety, fidgety in the chair. Yeah, the chair. A, a downcast yeah. look. Was it? Very looks, serious. Yeah, very serious. Uh, it was yeah. an interrogation between yeah, you and Big Brother. Yeah, was it? Was yeah, and then when he said, yeah, is that your final answer? You went, yes, she has yeah, three. Yours was... It was. It yeah. was. And by the way, you look really good on TV. Did they look yep. different? Really yeah. good. Oh, I was really just good. There. Typical. No, but I was just, honestly, I wasn't. I was relaxed, but I was just tapping. You don't look good now. You look fidgety. No, you, yeah. you like nah. Hobie, brother. Yeah. Yep. It was like official business mode. Like the look like on your face now. Now. Yep. Oh dear. It was hilarious. <laughs> it wasn't a relaxed look at all. But you looked good on telly, and that's really all that matters. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Thanks. All how to make the The results are now in for this week's task. There we know. We know. Housemates had to answer four questions each about each other and answer 80% correctly. If you'd received one point for each correct answer, then you would have failed to reach 80%. However, Bonus points for each visual question <gasps> raised your score to the required part. Yeah! You have passed this week's time. Oh, yeah! oh my god! Well done! Oh my god! Oh my god! We still turn Ahead on Big Brother, the story Daniel didn't want to tell. God, this is serious, isn't it? Look at it, everyone's like. <laughs> Even though the task is finished, the housemates continue to tell each other personal stories. There's, th there's some things in my story that I've been sort of not very clear about as up, up till now that I want to make clear. And the reason that I didn't bring anything up is that I've just noticed that just in general, there's some really sad parts about my life that if you talk about, people tend to want to give you a lot of sympathy and that's just really annoying. So I've sort of, some of the sadder parts, I've sort of like not really gone in, in, into them. So yeah, so everything's idyllic until I'm eight. And then um, my mum gets uh, stomach cancer from a gastric carcinoma. And um, <clears throat> uh, within five months she died. And um, anyway, so yeah, this really struck my dad pretty hard. So I think he became very inward and um, uh, around about when I was 20, um, my uh, dad was starting to um, date this new lady who's just really, really lovely lady. It was just like, oh, what a relief after, you know, that this is possible. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, he was diagnosed with a brain tumour. And I'm like, OK, so I suppose that's sort of serious, you know, is it fixable or not? And, no, it's terminal and... <clears throat> uh, sort of within five, six months, he died as well. And, uh, yeah, the hard thing, I suppose, was as well, like, just watching someone die and not being able to do anything about it except fluff their pillow and sort of <coughs> try and make them more comfortable. God, this is serious, isn't it? Look at it, everyone's like... <laughs> um, <coughs> it's the story, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it shapes me. It gives you a bit of perspective on me. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Oh, I nearly did that too. I just stopped. I had no idea. Now, I reckon oh my God, like that. we uh, finish off the last little bit because yeah, I know yeah. you got the fi final stages were before you come in here and then come yeah. in here. Come in here. Okay. Uh, what I think is of particular interest is um, uh, Saturday, my dad's father, my grandpa, died. Sunday was the first day I turned up here and didn't get on the show, and then came in here on the Wednesday. Didn't say Thanks very much for sharing that. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, look, I, I, I just, really appreciate it. Yeah, I just 
It, I don't mind it. talking about it, but I just didn't want anyone to treat me no. different or be, you know, sympathetic. It's anything. better for me that I've heard what I just heard. <laughs> How sad was that? Yeah. Um, ridiculously sad. Almost cried, but I've had really helped. good talks of Dan of a morning. When he says at the start, he says, "I don't want people to feel sorry for me." I don't feel I'm, sorry for him. I just think it's sad. Yeah, but I understand that sort of. Don't think that this has made made me no. who I am. I still think you can overcompensate so much with trying not to be sympathetic or yeah. not to be feeling for an eight-year-old child to lose his mother within five months. I think that's sad. I think that's an unfortunate. And knowing Dan as I do, and really, I, I absolutely adore him. To know that about him a month after I've met him is upsetting to me. He's such a beautiful person. I've never met anyone like him. In the week since the big merge, the housemates have endured a week of squabbles, tension and tears. But after passing the task, there's a new spirit of harmony and time for a song to celebrate. And I'll make me call your name and I'll shout it to the blue sun. There'll be another half hour of daily action from inside the house Sunday night at 6.30. In the meantime, stay tuned for Big Brother, The Insider.